This is John Martinka, and today I want to talk to you about the legacy of a business. I unveiled this at my 2012 annual client breakfast. Uh, perfect example, our speaker was Fran Bigelow, who started France Chocolates, a Seattle institution. She invented the sea salt caramel. She is the official White House chocolate. Uh, just a great local company. And I came up with this diagram that is the legacy of a business evolution. So let's take a look at the evolution of a business. Someone has to start every business. It, and the, what happens is the business either grows, plateaus, or declines based on key factors. Uh, when you start a business, you're going to do things that either cause you to grow or fail. You get to the next, you know, you get quickly to the level of you're an entrepreneur. You're doing things. You've got the ideas. You're building the customer base. And if you do them right, you're going to continue to grow. And you're going to evolve into more and more of a doer. Nothing wrong with that at this stage of the business, but you need to grow out of it. Where you want to develop to, where you want your key learning factors to be, is to take you to be a manager. To be able to manage people and processes and money and systems so that the business can continue to grow without you being the one who has to do every critical thing. Do that right and you move up from manager to leader. You're providing vision and guidance. You're providing incentives in inspiration to your employees, to people you brought in to manage. And as you move from manager to leader and eventually true CEO, where you're not involved too much in the day-to-day, -day, this is the range business buyers want to be in. The better the buyer, the one with more money, willing to pay more for the business, a higher multiple of earnings, is when you're the true CEO. And they can come in and scale the business. As I've said in another video and where I've written, the most important thing you can do as an owner if you want to increase the value of your company to a buyer is to show how you can leverage your competitive advantage to dynamically grow the business. That's what happens when you're up in the leader and CEO stage a lot more than any other level. And eventually, you may want to create a, le a legacy. Not everyone wants that. Some people want to be in here and then sell the business. Or if you can be like Fran, who described at her talk how she's created a, you know, really a legacy for the company, herself, and her family. Since she told us that her son is now the chocolatier, and her daughter runs the business side of it. So take a look at this diagram. Uh, your business is somewhere on it. What you want to do is leverage your key factors to move up this ladder. And if you do plan on selling, the higher up you are here to leader and CEO, the more a buyer will pay for.